Hello comrades and welcome to our 18th installment of our playthrough on the hardest settings on the cosmonaut mode. Never went with loans here, so it's all fine and dandy. Like this one or this one. Yes. Um, but our economy is in a little bit of trouble and today we will fix that and hopefully get in the second uh, crop farm. <laughs> so stay tuned. So last episode we didn't make the transition from empty storage of grain to uh, production very gracefully. Which means our production went into a little bit of a trouble and uh, our rubles went down like nothing good. So let's assess the situation. Because I don't want to run out of uh, rubles. We are building here... The second farm is constructed, but needs some needs some vehicles. Let's see. Some vehicles need some fuel. Still has no electricity. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see what we can do about it. There should be combines. Should be on the way. Yes. Two. But uh, let's hope that we can push our industry so we can buy two more from dollars. This one, we stopped the construction of these, I think. Stop this one. Okay. They are all stopped. I think I lost a l one load of uh, steel here. Oh well, so be it. Um, yeah, economy stabilization program. This comrade here exports to the westerners. Um, which I don't want at the moment. Simply because I don't want him to stall our economy. So you go here and load uh, something in and go here and load everything out and go here. So we go in here and let's see. Large one, this is the western one? No. Um, go here and load close and yeah unload that's okay okay go here he should bring in uh, for us additional 10k it's totally fine um, let me see okay Something is going on here. What do you do? Okay, it's the forklifts. That's okay. I can assign uh, people to the forklifts so they can be built. Basically, I don't want my uh, little production unit here to stall again because the crops ran out. Um, it will choke itself and this is not good. It was a little bit, this is a little bit similar than a year before, only here we have the fields here on the way, so it will not take long, a month or so, this field is grown and we can uh, get some fresh crops in. Um, so we set up a letter at the last episode here, uh, a service which attacks crops on the border, border and <laughs> loads up the warehouse here. And it has crops, it's good. So as long as we have crops, we will make fabric and from the fabric close. So uh, we keep in, in a positive cash flow. Yeah, because we are stretched thin and I want to have over 50k of uh, rubles in the bank, if possible, uh, to 
have even the smallest time to react on a crisis or two. Okay. We started to re-educate our people here. And I hope... 155? Yeah. It isn't risen, but uh, in one or two months we are again on the positive side if it comes to educated population. You are doing good? You're doing good. Okay. Hmm. Yep. After the next farm is secured, I want to uh, build a chemical factory and maybe one or two extra things. Um, and uh, look when and how we start our radio project, which was scheduled uh, for maximum amount of 10 years. Let's get out of this. Um, 10 years in this republic without loans and without oil import. But we are in year 4, so we're doing fine. <laughs> um, no, hur no hurry is here. Oh, I don't want to have this one. I want rather this one because we can cancel it. What's there? Okay. A little bit of the trimming of the bushes. Really don't like these lockout situations where, yeah, simply have some financial problems. Mm. Is there something to do very important at the moment? Don't think so. Are we on double speed? No, we're on single speed. Mm. Our proposition is fine. Um, we can. Is there something burning? No, there wasn't. Um, let's start this one here, because we have nothing to do and this one is ready to go. Get it on. Mm, this one I do not want to start uh, there, because here are no, no things to build on the construction side. This one is completely filled up. Still have free homes, but uh, it will be good if if we take care of this also. So start a chemical research. We can use a little bit less professors on this one. Oh, it's enough, I think. Hmm. Maybe two is enough. Chemical plant would be the first in job where engineers or skilled workers are needed. Um, we have here some room to build one, plunk one in. Completely fine here. Yeah. I really want to have my combine from the west side, but we have no money and we have nothing which we can afford to not selling our goods. 13,000 ruble, still low. Yep. Problem is really when there comes a the transition and your supply is not very good.
It's the kindergarten situation, good. Kindergarten is full here. And... It's not full here. Do we have... Yes. Is it connected? Or is it a little bit stupid? No, seems to be good. Just asking. Hmm. Should we do something for our people here? I don't think so. They are happy. Go lucky. <laughs> we have one in the prison. Okay. So either the police is not working or su working super efficient. Wow. It's not working. This is a problem. Get to work. Police station, 20%. We have 100, so 20% are 10 workers by 3 shifts. Uh, 7 workers? Should be good, okay. Good. So these crime waves happen, we are puzzling why they are happening. Um, I think one thing is if it reaches certain populations that the crime gets worse and there seems to be a seasonal effect uh, which we haven't found out what the seasonal effect is uh, Kaya Maya uh, also is on, on the hunt for this crime uh, crime wave effect what I don't think at the moment is the critical crime wave it's simply because we are a little bit stretched thin on the worker side You also haven't done your work completely nicely. We need to keep an eye on it. Three tons. Two tons. Should we, could we afford to get us another combine harvester? Oh, 33. Yeah, I think we can. 33,000. Um, you. Here has. Here, here. Here. And back home. So, load. And load. Specifying the things he loads is not absolutely necessary because um, he can only load anyway, only close at a close fabrication unit. But um, so I know what he's what his job is. So let's wait a little bit until he makes a nice profit, and then we send him away. Um, like I said, looking at the situation here, uh, they will also dump their clothes into the storage here, which is at the moment empty because uh, he is pulling out the clothes here. 5.3 tons, very nice. So he pulls it out from this station, he cannot pull out from here. So everything which is pushed by the fab uh, fabrication units here, by the sweatshops, for the sweatshirts, comes in here. So now this one will fill up. You see here? At the same time, these ones are also filling up if they reach a higher level than this one. Uh, sounds a little bit crazy, and it is. So it's very hard to see the regularity when and what is happening here. But... No, Ooh. have I thrown away? Oh my god. Uh, let's get out of this quickly. Um, let's send him away so he can maybe uh, pull some 
because if he loads here, he can pull uh, from the warehouse usually. So he loads more than he should load because of this uh, funny effect. Yep. Okay. So we sent him out to get us another combine harvester. Our money is looking great. So we start our restart our silo. Okay. And you people also. Mm. Yeah, the important thing is to keep the economy running and not uh, having it itself in a deadlock situation where we cannot buy uh, import crops and uh, do not export any uh, cloth. Which can happen. I'm not so. St or or it's not so stressful as last year because last year we had, uh, hadn't had the farm up and running on full steam. So <laughs> if we stay by the rule no loans, it would be a deadlock which cannot be escaped. So it was very bad, very bad indeed. Now not. Mm -hmm. Let's hope our little fella is on the way exporting, getting us the money for another combine harvester. 11,000. Uh, we use round about $3,000 uh, of fuel. I heard him. Where are you? Um, we use round about $3,000 of fuel per month. Uh, what? Stop. <laughs> Think. Uh, we use round about uh, $3,000 of uh, energy per month here as imports. Mm. Yeah, he is. So he gets us uh, some money which went fast away. 24,000. So it's safe to buy one, maybe two. <laughs> but I, no, I want two, but I can only afford one, I think. At the next round, I will afford uh, by the next one. Harvesting combine. Oh no! <laughs> Misclick! <laughs> oh my god. Buddy, where are you? I bought two. So you go on another run here. Uh. Go on another run because we ran out of of energy. My God, stupidity! He should make it. Let's keep, keep an eye on the situation. Okay. But I wanted to have two. Now I have two. A little bit uh, unresponsible buying here. And we don't want to stand, get under the controls of the banks. No, no, no. We are... Uh, fine independent Soviet country. First load, two tons. Okay, four thousand. <laughs> Ruble is massively going up and down. So let's hope uh, we can get up the silo. <laughs> Risky biscuits here. We are in really crazy territory at the moment. But some of the problems I make for myself. Um, but it's remarkable how fragile this thing still is after four years. Because uh, I try to go as fast as I can with my building projects. Which also means this one. <laughs> Under $1,000. Uh, and the lights go out. Yeah. But he will get us some... Uh, some clothes for the energy bills. Hey, buddy. 
So half a load, seven thousand dollars, two months of energy. Let's keep this in mind. <laughs> in two months we have the crop harvest on full swing, and uh, we are not relying on crop imports. We only then rely on um, chemical imports. So our profits will grow. Yeah. Don't worry. It's only that our energy. Yeah. Okay. So our comrades are not uh, very unhappy because the lights go out. It's nice. Always good thing. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. So we are waiting for harvesting season and we have our first silo nearly done. Um. Hmm? How do they build this? Ah, okay. <laughs> I thought this was part of the road. No, no. Okay. Yeah. This one was for the harvesters, yes. Two cranes, lot of people, more than actually needed 28. Let's limit them to 10. Or 14, these are two buses. Mm. Yeah, only a little bit of steel and we are done. Good, and the money is uh, above zero. Which is <laughs> always a nice thing. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, so we have him here, and we have three here, and we have two here, but one is refrigerated. We could pull him out if we want to. Thinking about scrapping the um, scholars together um, to switch, but we also need um, to restructure again our import export money making business so at the moment this distribution office the small one uh, at the border is importing us crops and uh, chemicals if they are under 30 percent here and they are clearly are so our people at the moment are burning through the crops faster than we can transport with through trucks this is why i wanted to have this farming operation it's not a massive money maker but uh, Every time we integrate something in our production chain, depending on the product, but uh, in most cases, uh, your product gets more profitable. So our end product, the clothes, gets more profitable because we are producing our uh, clothes. And if we are, the last thing which is missing are the chemicals. We also produce our chemicals by ourselves. We have a cost factor less. Um, Oh, a combine. To co why, why do they came from here? I think they were refueling. Um, yeah. Ah, and do we have power? Question of the question of the question. No, we don't have power. What's going on? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. 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 Uh, what? Where are you? Missing link. This one is okay. Oh, you bugger. I thought I fixed this. Or is it... It is fixed, but it is not built. 
Du. Build this and build this. We have a perfectly fine fuel station. Mm. This one will go online and we want to have a distribution office here. Let's see if we can build some of these sophisticated things. Should start by building better ones, but uh, these are quite convenient, honestly. Let's see. Okay. So our crop import crew will move to this one and this one will uh, pull out from the two farms uh, into our industrial complex. <laughs> 25th of June. That's the smell of money. Okay. Is there fuel? No, there's the fuel is not assigned. And but do you have energy? <laughs> you have energy. Okay. So let's give him fuel. When it comes to the efficiency, the idea that every every building which needs fuel should get fuel is a good idea. If not, they also will work, but they will drive around getting their fuel from here, there and everywhere. And so we have six thousand dollars. <laughs> Maybe we need to save some energy, guys. Damage. Mm. Yes. Let's make it so that you, yes, go here, wait until loaded so I don't forget you. Go to the border and come back. Because if we lose energy, happiness will drop rapidly, like a stone, basically. Uh, after three months, we can say goodbye to our city. Mm. Okay. Uh, ah, this is fueling. I thought the harvest would start, which highly surprised me. Yeah, come on. Our little cotton farms, which look like wheat. I like the looks of uh, land where you have harvest uh, fields. From a higher perspective, it makes looks really. Oh, thank you, Firestar. Uh, looks a little more lively, or as it should be. Yeah. Maybe you can build this one so we don't have this ugly sign here. Next house is done. They can move in. You're welcome. Uh, what about? this year. Oh! Many people are educated or dropped out. <laughs> Let's hope educated. Yeah, 240. So we, uh, we gain 100 educated people because we educate every child we find. Okay. Apropos children. Okay. Apropos police. Okay. Yeah. But it was a uh, high time. So the crime was a little rampant. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay. We're doing fine. So our prison population increased a little bit here. How criminal are you? 2%, yeah. This is why you want, if you want to keep it uh, mostly efficient, not very realistic, but uh, keep them as fast as, uh, as short as possible in the prison system. Especially if uh, your loyalty is so low that the people come out of the prison uh, debuffed, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, if the loyalty is higher, uh, we can make something good out of our prisoner, but at the moment, not so much. Uh, when it comes to loyalty, everyone is more or less at 70 is 37 percent is there an overlay for this one yep <laughs> 37 percent 37 percent yeah it's true socialism and communism here yeah, everyone is the same basically so we work with uh, passive loyalty uh, to recap uh, we have two stars here and there uh, which are shining on the whole city and then every housing block has a combination of Lenin and this one here so they have a loyalty gain of about 18 percent um, and at the work complex we have also a combination of uh, star Lenin and uh, this one this one is quite quite cheap but uh, the reach is super super low And Lenin also failed us with his reach. He only, he doesn't reach the last one. Yeah. Must be a very sad workplace if they can't look the back, the back of our great leader. Hmm. Okay. What about our five thousand dollar situation? So we take half of our profits and ship them to the border. Where are you? You're on the way back? That's puzzling. Are you... never... Oh, ah, here! Okay. He unloaded sneakily. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice. This would save us for the next three months, and after that we are in uh, Crop Wonderland. Oi, what's that? Make this for me, please. Okay. Mm. On the ruble side, we are stable, but on a very low level. So as you see, the ruble jumps up and down 20,000. I like to have more cover tolls, I like to have more silos. <laughs> yeah. What can we do? What can we do? So the production is not at the uh, highest rotations it can go. Shortly we have a chemical industry and have a nice project for the winter. To expand our production and our productivity and our output for a great nation. Yeah. And I think this is a very solid situation we are then in if the chemical is done. We have maximized the, maximized the output which these two can do. And um, the gain of um, the gain of value in the production chain which they can do. So at the moment it's bad to say because the uh, let's say this year because the uh, industry is a little bit choked. You see here for example now they're waiting for uh, fabrics they're waiting for uh, crops uh, our three cover tolls are simply too slow to bring it. Even 10 tons a day they don't manage these three runs. Yep. 
So we cannot... Uh, I cannot give you uh, good numbers of the... Um, population... Uh, population? Situation of the industry. Last month... Uh, let's say... Last year. I've made this calculation last time, I think. So we made 500,000 uh, in income and we had to pay chemicals 70,000 and did we buy crops? Last year no crops? Ah, here I got the crops. So uh, 10,000, which is not so... this is really great. So uh, if we also add the food and the fuel and stuffs, yeah, 30,000 and 30,000, 60,000. Let's say we spent 150,000 on all in all and made 500,000 uh, monies. So last year we made a surplus of 350,000. This year it is not so nice, I think. Uh, let's see, we have half a year. Yeah, 265,000, but I think the imports are higher because we need to import the crops now. Um, but if we build our chemical plant uh, last year, if we build our chemical plants, we can save us 17 additional thousand dollars of ruble. The ingredients for the chemicals are quite cheap. Um, Hmm. Nobody wants to build this road? Comrades. I think they are so attracted to our improvised fueling station that they simply don't want to buy me one. Or uh, get me one. Uh, build me one. That's the word. Okay. So we are ready to go. Except there are not trucks. 